Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina, I'm your host. I'm gonna go over so fast, some rapid installation for the Pippa Air RX. So again, this does not in any way substitute for any type of instruction manual, but this is just to show you how you could set this up in your car in three different ways. So we're gonna start first with the lower anchor attachment with the load leg. How that looks is you pop the load leg out, you spin your lower anchors around. Here I've identified with the spacers where my lower anchors are. I put my lower anchor connectors uh, in and then I use my thumbs. There's a red window on each side and if my cameraman can get that, when it connects, that window turns to green. So I have green on both sides, that's great. To shore up any type of gap that there might be, I'm gonna shove that base toward the back of the seat. And then additionally, I don't want the load leg floating in space. I'm gonna have this come down and make contact with the floor. On the side of the load leg, there is an additional window that turns green, which indicates that yes, it's correctly installed. So we've got green, green, and green. So now we're ready to go. We can put our Air RX directly on the base and go. Now, let's assume for whatever reason, you don't wanna use this method of installation. Let's say you wanted to use seatbelt. Seatbelt is going to look as follows. I'm gonna bring this over to this seat. It's a little more clear. And I'm also gonna assume that in this car, we're not using the load leg for whatever reason. Maybe we have a transmission hump or just some preventative reason why we're not using it. I'm gonna open up this arm right here. You'll notice on the base, it reads lap belt, shoulder belt. It's very clear where those pieces go. We will hook it up, lap belt to lap belt, making sure it's sitting within the correct ridges and then pulling to tighten, pulling that shoulder belt component over to where it reads shoulder belt, closing, listening for the click, and then locking the seatbelt off by engaging the belt all the way out and coming back in. Usually it makes a retracting noise, but it'll be locked off. This is also a correct installation. Now, finally, the last way we could do this is we could set our car seat up on the seat itself without any base at all. And how that's gonna look is wherever you see the blue on the seat itself is where the seatbelt is going to go. So car seat is in, we make sure it's level. Seat's gonna uh, have the seatbelt come around into the blue pieces, lock on, come around the back, go through our blue piece on the back, and now the belt is fully locked off. It's ratcheting. We'll tighten it up, straighten it out, make sure it's not moving, and that's your third method of installation. That is a quick and dirty way to show you the three different methods of installation on the Pippa Air RX. Thank you so much for watching. Come check us out in our next video.